Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and today we're going to be talking about buying the perfect gift for that beer lover in your life. So have you ever seen those ads pop up on social media or Amazon saying, hey, if you like beer, you're gonna love this item, or possibly you're thinking, hmm, what am I gonna get for my significant other on their special day? Well, we're gonna go over some of those items that you might commonly see or are pretty close to it. So what we have here are four of the more interesting styles of items you might find for that person you're trying to buy a gift for. We have this ring for beer bell. Personally, it's, it wasn't expensive. It was kind of a niche thing. My son likes playing with it. Uh, my wife got annoyed with it within 30 seconds. So if you do buy that, you're probably gonna regret it within the first five minutes. So one of the other popular items you might find is the Fanboy Beer Koozie. There are a number of different themed koozies out there. To me, a beer koozie is kind of a waste of time. Um, I'm gonna have to wash it all the time, clean it, and if it's like this and special, it's probably going to break. And if it takes you more than 15 minutes to drink a regular beer, you're probably doing it wrong. Is it a cool novelty thing? Yes, that's pretty much all it is. It's gonna be one of those things I have it sitting, and I'll never use it. Uh, another thing you might find is the belt buckle bottle or can holder there and pop your beer right into it. I couldn't see this dangling from my lower regions and having two free hands. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I would never go out in public with this um, or be proud that I have this. Another thing I found with this is that it's very hard to get a can in there. It's basically the exact size of a can. And you can't put a 22 ounce bomber in it. So there's that. Uh, one of my personal favorites is actually this beer can handle. I really enjoy these actually. This is super cheap, super dumb, but they're fantastic. They only do work with the 12 ounce cans, but my gosh, they are fantastic. I have actually found myself drinking beers faster and regular with this, and the nice part is my hand is not touching the can to warm it up. Essentially, eliminating the beer koozie. And I get to be all proper with my pinky out. And it comes easily off, just snaps on and off. And there you go, you're off and going. It's fantastic. That one, I highly recommend. All right, so what we have here are actually some containers of beer. Uh, this one is Growler Works pressurized keg. Uh, you essentially have a CO2 cap stored right here within the head. You can tell it how much pressure you need via the dial on top. You can see the pressure via the gauge at the bottom, uh, and you can dispense beer, and it'll tell you how much you have. I do enjoy this. It keeps your beer fresh. I've uh, kept the beer in here for over a month and kept it fresh. However, I have found that uh, one gallon of beer is quite costly. The growler version, the 64 ounce version, is just quite not enough. I will drink that pretty quickly myself. And I run out of CO2 extremely fast. If you are a home brewer, this is actually a very great gift to have, the one gallon version, because then you can take it to parties and still have your beer fresh. And if no one drinks all of it, you can still take it home and it's still good. The 64 ounce growler will run you about $99 and the one gallon will run you about $149. Um, so this is a serious purchase for someone. Another item I have is again, for the home brewer, but one of my personal favorites, and actually it's just, this little recarbonating cap. You can stick it onto any basically soda bottle, two liter, 12 ounces, 16 ounces, whatever you can find the standard size. You can fill a beer in this and repressurize it with your standard ball pin lock. I have been able to store beers in this and recarbonate them for a few months at a time. It's a great little gift. I highly recommend it if you have a home brewer in your life and he's looking for a fun little gift. This just might be it. 
Another item we have is actually the Bottle Keeper. Now, this claim to fame is a sealed container that you can put your bottle in. And you can seal it back up and it should keep it nice and cold. It has a nice bottle over on this. Their claim for this is that it's really good for people that are going on picnics or hikes and they want to have their ice cold beer at the end of it. They will have that. The downside to this product is it only comes in two sizes, 12 ounce or 22 ounce bomber. There's a problem though. This is the 22 ounce bomber size. And I'm only able to be able to fit a 12 ounce bottle into it. I have here a standard 22 ounce bomber. Cap is closed. Nice tight fit, but it will not go down. The only way it ever goes down Take the top off, slide to match, push all the way down, and it will not seal all the way. Essentially, I can put my 12 ounce in there, but there's so much room as I'm hiking, it's probably going to explode. And if for some reason this is the 12 ounce, who wants just a single 12 ounce at the end of a hike? I mean, come on, really? Now these two items are actually more of the interesting items we have. They both do the same thing, but in different ways. They are both what they call aroma and flavor enhancers. One, we have the Sonic Foamer here. Let's just say you're one of those guys, or you have a friend that pours their beer ever so slightly, never to get head, and then he hands it to you. So what you can do is take your beer glass and put it on the sonic foamer. You will need to add a little bit of water into the sonic foamer for it to work. But as you see what it does is actually gyrates the beer from the bottom and has vibrations that give this beer its head that it needs. The only real downside is when you set your beer down, there's a ring of water left. That's the disappointing part. Now, if you're looking to get rid of that ring, there is a second option. There is the beer foamer. So what you do with the beer foamer is you add a little bit of beer to the designated line, set your mixer in there, and just hold it down. It mixes the beer up, stirring it up, agitating it up, essentially just whips it into a very, very fine foam. Once it's done, just pour this back on top of your beer. As it settles, it will give you a nice, creamy, foamy head. Now what I do like about this one, it does give you a creamier head at first. I don't have a water ring on the bottom of my glass, but unfortunately, I have to clean this now. And part of my beer now is a little flat because I had to agitate it so much. So it's a give or take on what you want. They do have other versions of these, but they are stuff that you stick in your beer. I never found too sanitary because then you gotta stick it into all these different people's beers and they just look very, Odd shaped. I do recommend both of them. I think they're both very fun. They both have their place. I have found myself using them from time to time. They are especially good with a big, thick, heavy stout. So what we have here are some of the more wackier things is we have a beer board game that you play with beer caps as a drinking game. Um, personally, I'm not a big fan of these. Uh, I find that I like to enjoy my beer. They seem to be more for the domestic drinkers, the younger people. I don't really find myself hanging out with my friends, with their kids, or anything at a barbecue being like, let's go bust out the drinking board game, guys. Yeah. Guys drink. Huzzah. Dance moves. Uh, uh. Never have I ever. Social cheer. I, I don't know. It just doesn't seem all that fun to me. But if that is your thing, maybe that's something you want to do. We also have Ben Robinson's 
100 Beer Hacks. Comes with this nice bottle opener. Uh, what he'll go through this beer is essentially just kind of some interesting things you can do with beer. How to store beer, how to open beer, how to get it the coldest the fastest. How do you shower with beer? How do you catch flies with beer? How do you barbecue with beer? How do you make a black velvet? How do you play beer pong? What's proper room temperature? Drinking beer after a workout. How to make a salt and pepper shaker out of beer. Essentially all these interesting weird things. Most of them are pretty commonly known, but if you have that friend who likes beers or you have a bar or tap room that you're running, this actually isn't that bad of a read. It's something that'll keep people just flipping through and be like, hmm, I didn't know that. Another thing that we have is actually, I like it and I hate it, beer glitter. So you can pick these up for about $7 a piece on Amazon and it's edible liquid sheen. And people have been adding these to beers recently. So what you can do is you take your sheen or glitter and you just do about three or four drops into your beer and then you just stir it up, voila, glitter beer. You can do this to any style and they have multiple different colors. Personally, I like this. It doesn't really take away from the flavor of the beer, but I wouldn't do this to a really big, expensive beer. If this was just a nice, simple lager, this is something fun. It gets people that don't really like beer kind of interested in this drink. You can add a little fruit, and you can add these to basically any beverage you want, and it'll make it have this nice glittery sheen to it. So really good for cocktails, really good for sodas, sparkling waters, whatever you want. I highly recommend buying some of these. They are great for parties and entertainment. So what we have here is glassware. Now glassware is a great gift for that beer drinker in your life. Uh, if they actually appreciate beer enough to want the proper glassware, a glassware kit or proper glassware is phenomenal. Uh, some of the really interesting ones we have is the horn. Now this is more of a novelty item. It is not proper at all, but it's super cool, super fun to drink out of. It's just empowering. And it's fun to drink meat out of too. I mean, who doesn't want to drink out of a horn, right? It's great. Uh, these will cost you a bit of pretty penny though. These will run you about $35 minimum for a good actual horn. Uh, but then we get to the more novelty glassware to where it's shaped like a beer bottle. Uh, this does look like a proper beer glass to the beer drinker. It's actually not. Uh, I highly do not recommend this to the person in your life that actually does enjoy beer. This is actually for the person that just loves the standard beer and you see that they drink a lot of beer, but doesn't really care what it's in. This is for them. This doesn't give you the proper aroma, the aromatics, the carbonation. This is just the wrong style of glassware. Do not get them a odd shaped glass. Now, if your significant other is actually just getting into beer and does want to get a little more serious about this, a proper glassware set is actually something very useful. What it comes with is the IPA glass or pale ale glass. It is designed to give you the best aromatics for your pale ales, IPAs. And you have your stoutware glass, which helps with the aromatics again, and also keeps proper temperature for the flavor of your stout to be properly distributed. You have your imperial and Belgian style glassware. This is more of the goblet. You'll see this on a lot of kits. It's great for those basically double digit beers or very sweet multi beers. And then you have your new wheat glass beer. Now this takes over the old style, you know, German style glass beer, but they essentially both do the exact same thing. Either or is fantastic. I just find it easier to drink with this one. Now, if you're looking to buy them some serious glassware, the Rastel Tech U Stemware Glassware is a fantastic glass to buy. It is laser etched on the inside, so you're constantly getting these bubbles, the carbonation to come up, and you're always getting this waft of aromatic to the very last sip. It's designed to kind of be a little bit of everything, but these are a bit expensive. They're running about $15 a glass, uh, and a pair would be fantastic. So you're looking at 30 bucks just for two, but highly, highly recommend. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave it a comment or two at the very bottom. Hit like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Untapped, Twitter, Facebook, all the big social media stuff. If you want to see me do more videos like this, let me know in the comments. 
Cheers, guys. You will need to add a little bit of water into the Sonic Foamer for it to work. Okay, that was pretty cool. It's doing it by itself. And there you go. A perfectly ruined shot. <laughs> but it works. 